Alrighty, welcome back to the garage here. Today we're going to start working on the uh, charge air cooler system on this thing. Uh, it's currently running a liquid to air cooler, uh, but it's using uh, coolant coming off the engine. So really the coldest boost we're going to get is engine coolant temperature. So we're going to see if we can run a separate heat exchanger and a fan. Let me just show you what we got. So running this liquid air cooler between the turbo and the intake and it pulls this coolant off of, there's a, a port down here in these 12 valves right above the water pump on the side of the block that is, uh, should be radiator cold temperature water coming into it. And then it comes back into the water inlet. Um, we did some testing on this. I got a buddy, we put some thermal couplers in this. I, I put a port back here and we got this one here. Uh, we saw the temperature drop across this and we went out it's about 35 degrees ambient temperature and we're getting about 280 300 degrees coming off of the turbo and then over here we were getting oh 200 210 so we're getting about a 75 70 degree temperature drop across that cooler um it's probably going to be better if we can get the water coming into it to be closer to ambient air temperature so i've got a heat exchanger it should lay down right in this fender so don't get mad at me about cutting up a inner fender on one of these old trucks because this one is completely rotten clear across here it's junk so we're going to cut this out we'll rib nut it in build a little sheet metal deal to hold a fan and then we'll just put i've got a little electric water pump that's for these systems and we'll get it all plumbed in see if we can get this thing running a little cooler so here we go All right, we got us a nice clean hole. Don't get mad at me for cutting out an inner fender on this thing. Like I said, it was rotten. I think this thing had a second battery here at some point in its life because this thing is completely rotten. And uh, where it's bolted across here, it's just junk. So we'll get that thing all mounted. I've got some rivet nut kits we'll put here. Probably eventually we might put a shield or something kind of down in here just to kind of keep rainwater out of here. I don't know if I'll get too concerned about it because I don't really drive this truck in the rain seeing how the cab leaks pretty good up above the windshield. So this is a fair weather driver. So I don't know how much, how concerned we'll get with that, but let's get some stuff laid out and see what we're gonna need. Get back with you in a minute. All right, I got some holes drilled in this side, top and bottom for these. Anyway, we got that bolted in there. It's actually pretty solid. Um, but I traced out, did some measuring. I got me a template laid out so I can fold a piece of sheet metal to put here. So I'm gonna go get this cut out. See if we got a hole saw or something big enough to drill a hole there. Go over these. And we'll see if we can't fold this up and make some sort of support piece here. Here we go. Would be easier if we didn't have a mess. But we're gonna fold this. Eyeball it, I guess. Yeah, right, let's go see how that does. Oh, goody. Well, that's a hair too much. So I'll uh, get us a fresh light. Oh, maybe this one's gonna work for a minute. So the angle's a bit too much. Let me go straighten it out and try again. Alrighty, well, we got this plate in here. I had to tune it up and play with it and get it to fit just right. I got some rev nuts in here holding it in there. And it's pretty solid. So I'm gonna get a fan ordered. We'll see what kind of fans fit here. We'll get a shroud built and we'll run some hoses. We'll do some testing, but that might be all you guys see for a minute. We've got a few other projects that need to get going. Well, I lied. Fans showed up, so 
I think we're going to see if we can get a uh, some sort of a shroud whomper here built. Yeah, that thing moves some air, and it's fairly quiet. So I'm going to get some cardboard out, do some designing, some templating. We'll see if we can't get this thing whooped and have us a nice little shroud there. So stay tuned. All right, this is what I've come up with. It will sit on there something like that. I need to build, I need to trace on a piece when I cut it out of the steel to cover this. But this will go like this. It will give me some standoff to kind of create some area so we can get more airflow across the entire radiator. We'll have this that we can rivet nut to this inner fender. And then this piece will fold down here and we'll tack weld it across there. So let me get this traced over to some steel. We'll burn it out with the plasma cutter and get a hole in that thing. And we're going to be uptown. What I've done here, I've, I've cut it out obviously, but I've, I've scored where the bends are gonna be, so I only have to bend a slight piece in each corner. Give me a better bend, and it will be easier to bend because my homemade break isn't that great. So let me get those all folded into shape, and we'll head back over to that heat exchanger and see if it fits. All righty, that's what I've come up with. This wiring harness still fits decent. Um, Probably all I'm going to do to attach this is put a couple of bolts here and here, use some rivet nuts in this inner fender to secure this flange here. And then probably what I'm going to do is go get some fuel line, so just some rubber fuel hose, cut it to length, fillet it open, and put it on this edge here to keep it from wearing holes in the cooler and to kind of fill the gap here. I'll raise this up slightly. And then probably all that's going to attach it is those bolts. That rubber hose will just kind of keep it sitting down on the cooler and keep it from vibrating too much. I don't think we'll have too much of an air gap here to worry about. But yeah, that uh, I forgot to, to put the hole in it, but I cut a hole in it real quick. And this thing fits on there real nice. And it actually moves a ton of air. This thing's only an 8-inch fan. And man, it's it's fairly quiet. And it moves a ton of air. So, yeah, look at that. I'm going to order some hardware, some more rivet nuts, some fuel hose, and so that'll come in. Um, I think I've got enough heater hose and fittings. And so next time, we'll get that water pump mounted and get some fuel lines ran. I think we'll just run them real rough across this thing just to test the theory and see how much more efficient we can be on that. But that should work pretty dang good, I think. Alrighty, guys. That's probably all I'm going to get to on this one for reals this time. So if you want to see the updates on this, we've got a whole bunch of other projects coming too. Subscribe, like if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one.